Hello, I'm George and I'm one of the medical information specialists here at the Vrij University Medical Library. Today, I'm going to show you how to search for literature on PubMed in a systematic way. A good systematic search will find all relevant studies and will reduce the number of irrelevant ones. Before we start anything, we need to document our process in the logbook. A logbook is important to detail each step we are taking so that the search strategy can be reproducible later on if need be. The first step is to analyze your research question. The one we have today is, is using antibiotic treatment for appendicitis in adults a safe and effective alternative to an appendectomy? We can identify the important aspects highlighted in yellow. Further, especially for clinical questions, a great way to organize and prioritize aspects is to remember the acronym PICO. PICO stands for problem slash population, intervention, comparison, and outcome. Here, our problem is appendicitis in an adult population. Our intervention is antibiotics, and we'll be comparing against appendectomy. And of course, the outcome is effectiveness. Remember, you don't have to search for all aspects of the PICO. The most important aspects are the problem and the intervention. Some research questions have no comparison or no known outcome, for example. With all the aspects identified from the question, you can start building their respective search blocks. A search block has two components, the mesh terms and the tie-up terms. To get these terms, we need to go to PubMed. We're going to first search for the MESH terms, the medical subject headings. You can find these in the MESH database. Click on the MESH database. The MESH database is a list of index keywords, so please note that the MESH database is a different part of PubMed. Let's type in our first aspect. Always make sure to read the definition and see if it is appropriate for your aspect. Also, it can be useful to have a look at the mesh tree to check higher and lower levels of indexing. Let's add this to the search builder, then copy it to our logbook. Let's do the same for the antibiotics aspect. Antibiotic has two mesh terms, one main one and one pharmacological action one. Let's add them both to the search builder and separate them by the OR Boolean operator. The OR Boolean operator ensures I'm searching for both of these terms. What I'm asking PubMed to do here is to search for literature talking about antibiotics or literature that is talking about a specific antibiotic. Lastly, let's add the term appendectomy. More recent articles in PubMed are less likely to be indexed via the MeSH database, and thus they can be found by searching the title, abstract, and author keywords. We can do this by using the field code TIAP. The aim of adding TIAP terms is to find variations and synonyms of the aspect word that researchers may have used in their papers. For example, an appendectomy is also known as an appendisectomy. A cool trick you can do with tie-up terms is using truncation. This is shown with an asterisk. Truncation helps you find plurals, adjectives, and variations of the word. Once we have both our mesh and tie-up terms, we can combine them into search blocks for each aspect. Remember, 
to separate each term by the Boolean operator OR. Once we have our search blocks, it's time to build a search strategy. Go to the PubMed homepage again and click on Advanced Search. Let's insert our first search block into the query box. Click on the little arrow and add to history. Do the same thing for the antibiotics block. And again for the appendectomy block. We now want to combine these blocks with the AND boolean operator. What I am asking PubMed to do here is to find references that are in the appendicitis block, the antibiotic block and the appendectomy block. Now this is the core of the search and this is the highest number of references you are going to reach. From now on, it is refining our search further. There are two ways to refine the search further. The use of additional search blocks from other aspects of the research question, or the use of filters. For example, we could build a search block to find studies only on adults, or we could apply a certain filter to find studies of a particular study type, such as systematic reviews or randomized controlled trials. You can read more about filters in our roadmap for searching literature. Link will be available at the end of the video. The final step in our systematic search is to copy and paste the search history into our logbook. Hopefully you found this short demonstration useful and will improve your search skills in the future. Good luck!